It is called Hajar al-Aswad in Arabic, which means the black stone. This sacred stone located in the eastern corner of the Kaaba has a long history and has always attracted the curiosity of researchers from all over the world, but it continues to be a mystery to many including internationally renowned scientists. This is why it has always sparked debate, as well as speculations about its origin. Muslims believe that the stone came down from heaven, brought by angel Gabriel, while secular historians believe that the black stone is a meteorite like others, fallen from space. To prove this, renowned researchers in the field of space and geology have conducted in-depth researches at different periods to try to find the mysterious origin of the black stone but each time at the end of their research, they were surprised by the results. This is what we are going to talk about in this video. But before that, here's a brief history. The black stone has a long and rich history behind it, making it a very important stone in Islam. From the time of Prophet Ibrahim to the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace of Allah be upon them. There are different narratives regarding the origin of the black stone. One version says that when Prophet Adam was sent to earth, this stone fell from heaven to show him the place where he should build the first house of worship. However, according to the most commonly accepted and authentic narration, it is believed that the black stone was brought to Prophet Ibrahim during the construction of the Kaaba. It is reported that when the construction of the Kaaba was almost completed, Prophet Ibrahim noticed an empty space in one of the walls of the building, so he asked his son Ismail to look for a stone to cover the empty space. But after searching everywhere, Ismail was unable to find the perfect stone. When he returned to the site, he was surprised to see that a magnificent stone was already fixed there. Asking his father, he told him that the stone had been brought from paradise by the angel Jibril. In addition, according to an authentic hadith by Prophet Muhammad, peace of Allah be upon him, when it came down from paradise, the black stone was white as milk, but it became black over time because of humans who have always touched it to ask God for forgiveness. In 2021, the government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia even released a high-resolution 49,000 megapixel photograph of the black stone, an image that took over 50 hours to develop. This image allows to clearly see every detail of the sacred stone, and you can see that it is not completely black. Besides this main stone which is found at the Kaaba, there are other fragments of the black stone which are believed to be in Turkey. One of them is in the Grand Mosque of Suleymaniye in Istanbul. Apart from Turkey, another fragment is said to be in one of the museums in England. So why would the fragment of the black stone be in England? Here's why, and we'll get straight to the heart of the topic. As a very special and sacred object for Muslims, the black stone has always attracted public interest, particularly among researchers in the field of geology. Above all, they wish to understand the geological processes which may have been involved in the formation of this stone. This is how a fragment of the black stone ended up in England for scientific purposes. After extensive research, there have been several hypotheses proposed by different scientists about the black stone. One of the hypotheses being that the stone came from a meteorite. This view was based on a meteorite catalogue compiled by a satellite which classified the black stone as an aerolite type meteorite that looks more like a regular stone and is not dominated by iron and nickel, as is the case for commonly known meteorites. According to Paul Parch, geologist and mineral stone expert, the first researcher to publish a comprehensive report on the black stone in 1857, the black stone is a piece of meteorite that had fragmented about 6,000 years ago. However, after a long debate among scientists, this hypothesis was rejected because in-depth studies proved that the black stone has the property of floating on the surface of water. This is contrary to the characteristics of meteorites in general, which have a high density, meaning that a meteorite would sink if placed in water. Additionally, no scientist has found meteoritic rocks with the characteristics similar to those of the black stone. Therefore, the black stone cannot be definitively attributed to a meteorite. In trying to understand the black stone, another hypothesis emerged, stating that it could be a pumice stone. This is a kind of stone or rock that is formed from volcanic eruptions which produce magma whose composition is rich in silicon. They have a low density which allows them to float on the surface of water. This seems to be consistent with the information that the black stone can float on the surface of water. However, this hypothesis was considered weak because in the context of the geology of the Arabian Peninsula, extensive studies have proven that the volcanoes of the region do not produce pumice stones. 
It is therefore impossible to find a link between the black stone and the volcanic rocks of the Arabian Peninsula. Some scientists have claimed that it is the oldest rock in the world, although its exact age is not known. Typically, scientists can determine the age of rocks through carbonization and other techniques, but in the case of the black stone, they could not find any parameter that could explain its age. Another fact is that no one has ever found a rock similar to black stone on the planet. So, it can be concluded that the black stone not only does not come from Earth, but also it is not a piece of a large rock, because its density is different from that of any other rock found in the universe. Again, in an attempt to find the origin of the black stone, another hypothesis emerged, stating that this stone could be a type of impactite. This is a rock formed by the impact of a meteorite at very high speed and with enormous energy. This hypothesis was put forward primarily by a Swedish geologist named Elizabeth Thompson from Copenhagen University. It should be noted that in Saudi Arabia, impactites were found in the crater called Wabar, located about 550 kilometers southeast of the city of Riyadh. In addition, this crater was found to be made up of rocks with characteristics almost similar to those of the Blackstone. For instance, impactites have properties that allow them to float on the surface of water, which corresponds to the study that demonstrated the floating properties of black stone. However, upon further analysis, Thompson's hypothesis was disapproved, as it was discovered that the Wabar crater in Saudi Arabia was formed in the 18th century, specifically in 1704. It is therefore much younger than the Kaaba, which was built around 40 centuries ago. So the black stone cannot originate from this crater. Therefore, we can say that the black stone is neither a meteorite, nor a volcanic stone, nor an impactite. Although several studies have been carried out, scientists have not yet been able to answer the question of the mysterious origin of the black stone. I will conclude by saying that, although the black stone is very sacred in Islam, Muslims do not worship it. Muslims only worship one God and that is Allah. It was reported that Umar, one of the best companions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, approached the black stone and kissed it and said, You are only a stone which cannot neither harm nor benefit. And if I had not seen the messenger of Allah kissing you, I would not have kissed you either. That's all for today. Do not hesitate to share your point of view about this topic in the comment section. Thank you for your time. Assalamu alaikum.